hi guys you're welcome back to my channel in today's video tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how you can create a bitget wallet not a bitget account not a bitget exchange account but a bitget wallet there's a difference between bitget exchange and bitget wallet bitget exchange is a centralized platform while bitget wallet is a decentralized platform so guys you have to take note of that for BitGet Wallet, which is decentralized, you have full control over your account and also your funds inside of it because you're going to be getting your seed phrase and you have to keep it safe by yourself. And one important thing you need to know is that BitGet Exchange has a separate app while BitGet Wallet has a separate app as well. So they both have different apps. So they are not combined like the OKX and the rest of them. So guys, make note of that. So guys, now let me show you guys how you can actually create a BitGet Wallet for yourself. So guys, what you have to do first of all now is to go over to your Play Store and that's if you're using an Android device. But if you're using an iPhone or an iOS device, what you have to do is to go over to your App Store. So guys, since I'm using Android in this tutorial today, let me tap on my Play Store right away. So guys, once your Play Store opens up, the next step you have to take now is to tap on the search icon at the bottom right. So let me tap on it. Then after that, what you have to do now is to tap on the search icon at the top. Let me tap on it. Then what you have to do next now is to type in BitGet Wallet. So let me type it in. BitGet Wallet. So guys, now you can see it. I've typed it in. So let me tap on search. So guys, now you can see the BitGet wallet right there. You can see there, the logo is a bit different from the BitGet exchange. Let me check if I can see the BitGet exchange right here. Let me scroll down. So guys, now you can see the BitGet exchange right there. You can see the logo. So let me scroll up now. Let me scroll up to show you the BitGet wallet logo. You can see there's a little bit difference. You can see there's a little bit difference. So guys, take note of that. So what you have to do now is to tap on it to open it. So let me tap on it. So guys, now you can see it right here, BitGet Wallet, Crypto and BTC. So guys, now what you have to do now is actually to download and install this. I can do that by tapping on where you can see install. You can see there the arrow is pointing at it. So guys, let me tap on this right away. So guys, now you can see the BitGet Wallet have started downloading. As you can see there is at 7%. What you have to do is to wait till it gets to 100%. Once it's fully downloaded, then it's going to start installing automatically. So guys, let's just be patient and wait for a few seconds. So guys, you can see it's downloading. So guys, now you can see it's 100% it's going to start installing. So guys, now you can see that started installing already. So guys, now let me tap on enable. It's done installing. Then let me tap on open. So guys, now you can see the BitGets wallet app is opening. So guys, now the next step to take next to tap on where you can see create a wallet. So let me tap on it. So guys, now what you have to do is to tap on I agree. So let me tap on it. So guys, now this is where you need to set your PIN code, your security code. So what you have to do now is to impute a security code that no one can easily guess and that you can remember as well. So guys, let me go ahead now to impute mine. Let me impute my PIN code. So guys, now right here, you need to re-enter the PIN code you just entered in the previous page to be sure that it is correct. So let me type it in to confirm it. So guys, now you can see it's creating. You can see what's written there, creating. And see what is going on let's just wait a few seconds so guys now you can see your wallet is now ready so let's just wait a few seconds well guys congratulations you can see what's written there wallet successfully created so let me tap on got it so guys here is the wallet so now the next important step we need to take now is to back up this wallet so that we can easily recover it in case we lose it or anything like that so guys now the next step now is to tap on back up you can see there at the top the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys now you can see what's written here attention you can see the three points that have been listed there the first point right there is your mnemonics phrase is equivalent to your wallet password the second one is transcribe your mnemonics phrase by hand or store it securely in an offline device the third one is store your mnemonics phrase in a safe place so guys what they are trying to say here is that this your mnemonics phrase is your recovery phrase that's what you can use to recover your wallet and they are asking you to keep it safe that you should keep it somewhere safe because anyone who gets this mnemonics phrase or your recovery phrase will be able to have access to your wallet and the funds inside of it so guys we are going to be seeing our mnemonics phrase in the next page so what i will do now is to tap on where you can see backup mnemonics you can see down there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys right here we are required to enter our pin code the one we just created some few seconds ago so let me enter it here is the mnemonics phrase do i blood it so guys let me tap on allow to allow bitget wallet to access my photos so guys now you can see the next step you can see what's written there 
pack up mnemonics so guys now you can see this is your mnemonics phrase you can see it it is actually numbered from 1 to 12 so guys now what you have to do now is to find a way the best way that you can actually save this phrase if it is writing it somewhere or saving it to the cloud whichever way is best for you and you know it's safe just go ahead to use that method so guys i've saved it so let me go ahead now to tap on backup mnemonics down there you can see the arrow pointing at it so guys now you can see the next step backup quiz so guys now you are required to enter some set of phrase you can see they ask us to enter the second phrase the 11th phrase and the sixth phrase remember the mnemonics is actually numbered from 1 to 12 so let me enter the second the 11th and the sixth real quick so guys now you can see i've entered it so let me tap on confirm down there you can see now backup succeeded so guys now i've been able now to show you guys how you can create your bitget wallet and also back it up so guys now i believe this was helpful to you if it was please consider liking subscribing and leaving a comment see you on the next upload bye